Donation from Benjamin Braun. Zaza's just got an 8.2 from Portnoy. 8 no. Excellent pizza. You know what to do. Pizza emoji. Cue the drone footage. Now I never, and I mean never, I I never ever Forever, ever. get just cheese pizza from a pizza place. Kevin McAllister does, but I'm not a character in a movie or a child. A lovely cheese pizza just for me. You guys, hello, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the donation ridden food vlog here at Hey Sean Ely, where you donate and I eat what you want me to eat. Today, B Squared, Benjamin Braun, the proprietor of the Capri Suns on the channel, and today, a Zaza's purchaser. For context, I have done Zaza's once before with pepperonis, with garlic, with basil. I did a specialty pizza on their specialty pizza list for number six with cheese, but Ben Braun said, I got to see that cheese pizza. Porno over there, Porno over there at the bar stool is giving it 8.2. I think this is my favorite pizza in Chicago. Zaza's Pizzeria established 2021. I don't think I've given a bigger score. I think it's my favorite pizza in Chicago. Now granted, the dude loves just plain cheese pizza and I'm a pizza simpleton. Like I personally really love really two or less toppings, but I never just get cheese. I'll normally get pepperoni or I'll get sausage or I'll get pepperoni jalapeno or if I'm with Ali, double olives because we're psychopaths, but never just cheese. So today for the first time ever, a cheese pizza just for me. Did anyone order me a plain cheese? Is the guy behind me writing me a ticket? Or is he putting his number on a girl's windshield? What a flex that is though. Hey, you hot, so you walking into a jewel. Call me. <laughs> I buy stuff from the grocery store, I cook, I make a lot of, uh, recently I ate Scrapple for the first time, which a lot of people thought was gonna taste like the Scrabble tiles. Uh, it was actually very good. Today, an unboxing, uh, a de-topping of the Zaza's cheese pizza. Oh my God. It's just gorgeous. They make gorgeous pizza. It's still kind of bubbling. Oh my God. Look at this damn thing, it's ginormous. It was 20 bucks, 23 bucks for eight massive New York style slices. They have slices in there you can get. I went full pie. I, d I really do think the full pie is the way to go for full flavor. In my mind, Ben was like, I can't go another day without seeing what Sean thinks of that pizza. Uh, we can see, look at this just grease pile pooling up. Ben, thank you so much for donating to the vlog. It means the world to me. So this one, little bit of flop. <laughs> if you're into that, I never really used to judge pizza uh, that way until I started watching Davy Boy, Davy Page views, but uh, beautiful undercarriage, right? Right? Right, Chicago Dave or Frankie or Michael Siciliano? Aren't they all friends? All right, my first ever cheese pizza from Zaza's and probably my first piece of just plain cheese pizza from a takeout restaurant, I don't know, ever. B Square, this is for you. God damn it. It's so good. It's cheese overload in the best way. Remember flavor blasted Doritos? This is like a flavor blasted pie. Wow. I mean, there's it's no joke. It just really is as good as people are saying. The ratings online right now, bam, bam, bam. They're all legit. This is the girl that doesn't need to put makeup on to be the hottest girl in the room. Doesn't need to remotely get ready. For some reason, when she walks into a room, she just steals the show without even trying. That's the cheese pizza from Zaza's. It's just perfect the way it is. No need to disguise it. <laughs> get it, loser, we're going shopping. 
This pizza is basically the opposite of me. If we're just being honest. The amount I try and still put off just the saddest amount of effort into the world and what people, you know. <laughs> wow, get some self-respect. Maybe for Christmas. Stop trying to make fetch happen. That crust is so good. Place really pumps out the pies too because I ordered this during the lunch rush on a weekday and it said 30 to 35 minutes and it was ready in 19. That's good business. That's just good for business. So what does the website say though? NY Classic Cheese Pie. Red sauce, mozzarella, grated pecorino, grated parmesan. Crust is finished with our signature infused garlic, rosemary, olive oil, and Maldon flaky salt. It's one of those places that's kind of wild, like the actual pizza looks better than the promo image. Like, that's how good, that's better than the promo image. Also, if you know me, I'm from Detroit, Grew up on Detroit style pizza like Buddy's and Louie's and love it. Still, Jets was always my favorite specialty pizza that wasn't $5 hot and ready from Little Caesars, which are great. You always gotta get the seasoning, the spice pack. When you get a hot and ready pizza, it's just, just a, a side. Always go, hi, can I please have the seasoning packet too? Ramps it up, dude, it's literally the hack. We'll do it sometime on the show. Anyway, do you not know about the season? All right, focus. Jets was always, it's not even really Detroit style because they don't put the sauce on top. I love that, right? Moved to Chicago and never really fully understood the tavern style cut thing. It's okay. Chicago deep dish, it took me years and years and years to really appreciate it and to go to the right places. It's not always the big guys that do it the best. It took me a long time. But when I've gone to New York City, I've gone like, this is my favorite thing because I love the quick slice mentality. I like that you can get a slice and, and a pop, <laughs> a soda pop, a Coke, and you don't need to commit to the big pie. I like its thinness. It's just a great like late night pizza. So Chicago really only has a few places that do New York style well. Jimmy's Pizza Cafe, Dante's, Buongiorno's. There's a few others, but Zaza's is like right at the top. I'm gonna do one more before I bring this home to Allie. She's so excited to finally try this. All right, better this time. Not as much flop. I really don't care about that though, I'll be honest. But I think people online, you have to like show them, you gotta show them everything for them to appreciate it. Here's a triangle. Okay, there's something about the saltiness and the oil and the cheese hits you so quickly. Like, it's one of those pizzas like, your tongue is being electrocuted with flavor. Like somebody put a couple of those things on it and was like, clear. Boom! And just like, that analogy didn't totally make sense, but you get the severity of the excitement of the flavor. <laughs> Ode to Dave. Chad, Brett, you know what you're doing. For whatever reason, you know what you're doing. <laughs> wow. It's truly unlike anything here in Chicago, which I think is why it's also so great. Really stands out. Also, don't forget to bring a towel. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope all is well. These donations have been so much fun. The Puerto Rican food truck, still thinking about it. That fried bologna sandwich from recently that Marty donated for. A lot of really fun food. Friend of the show, Courtney, donated for me to make goofy dogs, which are hot dogs with chili, peanut butter, pickles, and corn chips. <laughs> Trying to kill, I'm gonna literally be six feet under by next June. This is what he wants me to do. Look at all those pickles. Goofy dogs. How many New York slices is too many New York slices in one sitting? Like is three kind of obnoxious? I think I'm gonna stick to two today. <laughs> Close box or I'll never stop eating you. You're such a siren of the night. Some people have girls and guys they could just, they can't get rid of, they keep hooking up with, they know they shouldn't be. That's like pizza for me. <laughs> you gotta close the box or I'll keep going like, you up? I'm saying that to the lid. You up? Oh yeah, I'm up. Come on over, Sean. Come get you a bee helping a Miss Zaza. I, I hate it. What? No. <laughs> this guy eats good food, but what the? What's wrong with his personality? <laughs> oh come on, it's part of the charm. Ben, if you make your way to Lakeview in Chicago, I'd say that's a that's a stop. That's a must get. It's tough for me to endorse it in the way that when people email me and they're like, Sean, I have 48 hours in Chicago. What pizza, what sandwiches, what should I eat? So it's very hard for me to put them on the list because it's not really like an, it's not a Chicago thing, it's just so damn good. 
Like if you want a really good New York slice for some reason when you're here, you're close to Bongiorno's downtown, so it's kind of more the move. But this is just so good and the guys are so great at what they do. But I normally don't put them on the list just yet because it's just not Chicago. Like when I flew to Montana, I wasn't trying to find New York City bagels. I just, <laughs> you know? But whatever, is there like a weird city food that you've gotten in another city that oddly did it well? Because that's one for me where I'm like scratching my head like I feel weird, but the truth is the truth. <laughs> That'd be some tramp stamp. The truth is the truth. <laughs> Just tattooed down there. What? All right, Ben, thank you so much for the donation. I really almost got like the gold medal pie with a bunch of different stuff on it that they named for Dave Portnoy, but I went with the cheese because I, that's the tried and true. If you can make pizza taste that good without any toppings other than cheese and oils, you're doing so all right. That is a pizza though that I will get on my own time outside of the show. So maybe that, that maybe that's the endorsement because I don't get very much stuff on my own outside of filming. So I try to eat healthy, not spend money. That is one I'd throw down for. So maybe that, Maybe that's what I needed, that's all I needed to say. This video needed, didn't need to be this long. Look at the timestamp, it's obnoxious. <laughs> all right, Ben, Zaza's up, Zaza's down. Be good to each other. Woo! The sunrise, lay nice, wishing that this would be over. Cold ice, the same vice, we won't be getting any closer. We're supposed to be young, dumb, and free.